Hey everyone, I thought I'd just take the opportunity while I'm at a decrease to show you a decrease on double crochet. So it's as simple as this. Yarn through, pull through one. And I'm leaving that on the hook. Yarn through the next one, pull through another one. And that is your basic decrease. You're going to pull through all three. So I've just turned two stitches into one. The pattern will tell you whether you are going to decrease by more than two, but normally it's just two into one stitches. So let me just get to another decrease for you. Increase, um, just reference. If you need to increase, you just go into the same stitch and you've done your increase. And that's the one increase. If it tells you to increase by two into the same stitch, obviously you do three in there. But let's get to the next decrease just so I can show you. My ball is rolling away from me. This is actually a baby cardigan that I'm making for a security guard at work. Um, he's expecting a grandchild. So let's just try and do this again more on camera. So um, where I want to do the decrease, it's pull through into the next hook, into the next stitch, pull through two. And that's the basics of your decrease. That's all it is, people. A simple decrease. If you're doing it with triple crochet, um, obviously you do that on the stitches. You just don't finish the stitch off and you complete it um, when you complete the other one. So just to show you how that looks. Eh. So that's a normal stitch and that's a decrease. Sorry for the short updated video. This is just to go with my other video on British versus US stitches. Catch you next time. Bye, guys.